Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to enable or disable jump lists in Windows. So if you don't know what a jump list is, it's what shows you your recent history when you click on things, such as if you right click on your shortcuts in your taskbar, this will show you your recent files here, then you can either pin them or open them up right from here. Same with Word. Not every program will have it, obviously, you know, Command Prompt's not going to have it. File Explorer will have it. Uh, this one's just showing the default. Uh, folders because it hasn't been used that much, but it will actually show uh, recent folders that you've been in. It just doesn't seem to do it uh, for every folder every time. It just kind of seems to do it on its own compared to when you do it for like Word and Excel. It shows you your actual files that you've opened each time. And then also when you click on your start menu, you will have some recommended items here like that. And then also in your File Explorer, you'll have recent items as well. So for File Explorer, if you just want to get rid of those, we did a video on how to disable this kind of thing and then also the pinned items up here in the quick launch area. So you just go to the options and then on the privacy section under general, you could uncheck this box for the frequently used files. You could do the same for folders and uh, files from office.com and clear the File Explorer history. So you can kind of pick and choose from there. So that's another way to do it for File Explorer, but it's not going to affect these options here. So to change the options for the jump list, you'll need to go to the Windows Settings, Personalization, Start. And then you can see here you have a Show Recently Opened Items in, in Start, Jump List, and File Explorer. So right now, as you can see, we have all these here. And like I said, most of the time you'll have some for File Explorer, but on this particular computer, it's not remembering them at the moment, probably because I haven't been using it that much. So if I turn this off, now when I right click, there's nothing there. So if I open it, open this file here, let's say I make a change, save it. It's still not gonna show up in the list and same here. And File Explorer still has the defaults, but if it did have any other folders, they would have been cleared off as well. And then when I click on Start, you can see the recommended options are gone from here as well. But if we go back to File Explorer, you notice that these are still here. And if we go to the options, you could see it unchecked the box, but it didn't clear them. So you might have to manually clear them from here by clicking on this. And then also sometimes closing and reopen should do the trick as well. So now you can see they're gone. So that's going to vary depending on, you know, how Windows is feeling. So if it closing and reopening a file explorer doesn't get rid of them, then you can just go up to the three dots, the ellipses here, options, and click on the clear button and just make sure this is unchecked, which should have been done by changing the setting. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So if you want to turn it back on, just go back to the Windows settings, like so. But now you can see they're cleared. But next time you open a file here, let's go back to that same one here. Let's close it. And you can see it's here again because we opened that file. And then of course you could pin them because um, they will get overwritten eventually once you get to a certain amount. But if you want to keep some pinned for easy access, uh, you could do it from there as well. So once again, Windows Settings, Personalization, Start, and then turn the slider on and off as needed. Just remember it'll clear out any recent items when doing so. And now you can see here, this didn't come back either until we start adding some more files as we open them. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.